Well, good morning. The wind is blowing here. Actually, it's evening. The wind is blowing and it's starting to rain here. And uh, But we have some really special friends that we want to introduce to you. And they have a couple of products that I really think you guys might be interested in. So, here you go. Introduce yourselves, kids. Hi. I'm Adam. <laughs> and I'm Elizabeth. And we're in the... Uh on Instagram uh, at Deliberate Life Bus. That's right. Yep. And they have a beautiful bus here and a beautiful home. So uh, we have a, a really great product that I think is super. And you guys do have an affiliate link with this company, don't you? Mm -hmm. yep. And would you tell us about that? Yeah, so uh, we have our tiny wood stove. Um, it's one of the brands of small wood stoves that people will put in their vehicles or buses and we just love it we love the toasty warmth that we get from a wood stove um, the size of the one we got is just more than enough to heat our bus even in really cold weather mm -hmm. um, and we do have an affiliate link so if you're interested feel free to click it yeah and we will put that down below okay i'm going to show the stove to you right yeah. quick and then we're going to talk more about it um, you can tell me about it though so, yeah so this is um so it's the dwarf stove from tiny wood stove is the brand and this is their five kilowatt. That's the biggest one they make, which may have been a little overkill for a bus this size, but you know, planning it, you don't always know exactly what you So the five kilowatt is pretty big, which has allowed us to camp in really cold temperatures down into the single digits and be super toasty in here. They make two smaller ones as well, which fit a lot of people's buses and other vehicles and vans. But uh, we got this awesome like enameled door, which they make. Um, but it's just a really, really large stove as far as tiny wood stoves go, and it keeps us very warm. And I understand that the uh, glass stays clean. Eh. Could you tell us about that? I think like with any wood stove, the glass stays clean if you burn it nice and hot. It gets dirty when you burn it not as hot. So <laughs> it does have a couple different air controls. So this is the air wash here. When that one's kept open, it helps air goes across the glass and mm -hmm that helps the combustion keep the glass a lot cleaner. Um, mm -hmm. The air control down here you know, lets air in more or less from the bottom, uh, which you can use to control the quickness and heat of the burn of the fire. You should mention the uh, external air intake. Oh yeah, so on the back of our stove, um, it's, it's an optional thing people, some people put on there, but we chose to do it the stove actually pulls the air that it burns mostly in from outside which is good in a really drafty space because instead of burning up our nice hot air that we've spent time heating in here it's burning up cold air from outside and leaving our hot air that's inside. right and it doesn't create a draft that pulls air yeah. in around your windows and doors yeah. right. which is really a great thing but this one that's like one of the favorite things in the bus is just having a nice cozy it's just a, and i'm going to get a shot back here because i like it it does have a larger chimney than mine mine has a three inch yeah this and is a five inch diameter this is a five inch but it still looks very nice in There's here the, the four kilowatt which is a slightly smaller stove i think has it's a four, uh, inch, four inch flue so it's yeah. a little mm -hmm. bit smaller yeah. Well, that is great. That's a and and what about what about you? You do most of the feeding of the fire. Well, we both do really, mm -hmm. but mostly if it's yeah in the middle of the night, usually it's me. But we when we took it down to single digits, we actually took turns getting up every mm -hmm. couple hours because we really wanted it to be burning hot. Mm -hmm. You know, if you choke a stove down to get a long burn, well, you're not getting a lot of heat out of that stove. So, right. Um, so we decided that night when it was, I think, down to six or something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we, we took turns getting up every couple hours just so we could keep it really pumping. And uh, that kept us really warm. Um, I can get by with easily with just, you know, getting up once in the, in the night and feeding it. Um, if we had wood that was really cut for the stove really well, I think we could get probably five or more hours out of it. Yeah. Well, that is nice. That is wonderful, kids. We built the stove around, or we built the bus rather, around the stove almost. Because actually, we were, after we did the roof raise, we put the subfloor in. That's when I poured the concrete slab for the hearth. And then, uh, you know, put it in here because it was getting late in fall. And so I was able to burn the wood stove while I was building out the interior, which was, which was a nice little perk to have. Yeah. Super nice. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah, and I bet you right there on the edge, into the couch, you probably got get some good radiant heat too. Oh like, yeah. yeah, this is like the hot yep. seat, the way you adjust the thermostat in our bus as you, <laughs> you move down. Move as you change <laughs> positions. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is great. Yeah. Okay guys, it's really exciting for me to be able to get to show you these. We've already ordered a pair for each of us. Uh, uh, Deb and I, we just fell in love with them. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna have them talk about uh, shoes, believe it or not, they make shoes. Is that even possible? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, I don't know. I guess it's been about five, six years. I uh, started out as kind of a project for me as I was staying home with the girls. Uh, we got to um, a six and an eight year old, and I was staying at home with them and uh, thought about trying to find some sort of project. So I YouTube something and found a Oh look, we can make some cool sandals. So I started, you know, uh, making sandals for the family, um, and that was about five, six years ago. And mm -hmm. I would say for myself, in that time, I've definitely had a pair of my sandals on for over 50% of the time. More recently, more. <laughs> probably, yeah, more recently, uh, probably 80% of the time, I'm wearing a pair of sandals that I made. So uh, that's been really nice to kind of make my own footwear. Uh, for the family and I it just there's a, a fairly decent demand for uh, you know stuff that people build by hand you know um, right it's pretty awesome to be out here and just working outside outside the bus with the you know today's super windy so I actually <laughs> did a lot of the work inside the bus but you know the setting couldn't be better regardless if I'm inside or outside the bus mm -hmm. um, so if they decide would you like for me to show me some first sure. look yeah. here okay let's take a look oh yeah and they are made with um, actually with uh, climbing gear what are they called yeah, they're called these are um, climbing slings so it's a a soft you know webbing material that climbers use um, for some of their protection when they're rock climbing and then after they get to a certain age climbers retire them just out of safety concern to make sure you're not using gear that has just gotten a little less strong from. right absolutely these have to catch your falls oh um, yeah so anyway climbers retire them and they donate them to adam yeah and because adam actually teaches climbing and mentors yeah, I do. climbing. I'm a, a climbing mm -hmm. instructor or I was in my you know, back back home before we left for the road and mm -hmm. who knows what that will become you know from here on out uh, but I've always enjoyed so, instructing climbing. And these sandals are actually gorgeous. My feet are dirty but <laughs> well, we, that's what bus life is about. <laughs> that's, so. uh, we're not worried about that. Um, but yeah. now if they decide that they would like to have sandals do, is it possible for them to do a tracing of their own foot? Yeah, so that's what I, I start with the tracing. So basically, um, just you take a piece of poster board, trace the foot, and put a little dot where the uh, the toe strap would come up between the toes. Um, and that's pretty much it. And then um, I take it from there, I'll draw the outline. Um, you can actually, I'll show you this, I'm starting to, um, let's see, oh. So, you know, I'm starting to put the the outline around the the sandal. So they're all, you know, custom shaped for, you know, the, the person's specific foot shape. So no, they don't come in sizes, they right. just are your foot. Right. So right. you just stand with your weight yeah. on the paper mm -hmm. and uh, you can have somebody else trace right around your mm -hmm. foot. That's right. Uh, holding the pencil straight, straight vertical, up and down, straight up right. and down. Yep. Yep and go all the way around the foot mm -hmm. and then down between the big toe and the next toe yep. up tight against the foot making yep. a mark there so that mm -hmm. you know because some people have longer toes that's right as, yeah. <laughs> and feet are all different i mean and bunions a, and wide feet and mm -hmm. narrow feet and narrow heels and wide toes and all kinds of shapes yeah so this is uh, probably the closest you'll get to a barefoot feel that's and right. still have the protection from the rocks yeah. and all that stuff so uh, and uh, they're uh, quite inexpensive actually would you like to give a price on there or yeah um, so right now the basic model I'm doing at 65 um, it's probably gonna go up a little bit at some point but um, I'll say that's probably grandfathered in for a little while anyway okay. so or or if you mention Jim and Debbie there you yeah. go 65 <laughs> and uh, we will put the link 
Okay. Uh, to to get in touch with you All down right. below so yeah. that people can reach you. And I love the shoes. I think you do marvelous work. So well, thanks. Um, yeah, we're just uh, all excited about this. Yay. So uh, mm -hmm. thanks for taking the time yeah, with me. You. And uh, we'll get this up. And I know there's a lot of people out there that are looking for exactly what you guys have. Yeah. Um, the the shoes and the uh, stove also. So that's that's pretty exciting. Cool. Well, thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. we'll, we, we've fallen in love with these guys. And they're <laughs> leaving tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we will run into them again soon, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Adam is making us shoes. It is so exciting. So he's taking uh, measurements or prints, basically drawings of our feet. And then he's going to make some sandals for us and send them to us. Because he's leaving us. I'm leaving. Oh, mm. and we're sad about that. But we will see him again. We've been around y'all for three weeks or so now. I know, it seems it's like. amazing, isn't it? All right, you're good. Yay! Okay, guys, we are so excited. Adam has finished uh, our sandals, and these things are truly awesome. So, uh, actually, I'm going to have Adam tell you about these, and uh, tell you how they work, uh, so that when you get yours. Okay. Yeah. you'll be able to uh, just adjust them for yourself. Yeah, so this model or this style is the, what I call the thin strap style. I don't have a name for it yet, but um, it's Dyneema. And so the way it works is it comes out from between her toes here and it goes over around the heel. And then this strap kind of comes over and pulls everything tight. And there's a tensioning buckle right here. Um, I also have a wider strap model that's uh, that works really well also. So as soon as she tightens yeah, this up, this strap here and the heel strap will then, you know, tighten up. So, and it's a, I call it a barefoot running sandal because that's how it originated. Um, but, but it's a flat sandal that's comfortable. Um, yeah, I want, just want to make it clear that you don't I, have to run it. <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> okay, good. That's, that's very clear. Yeah, a minimalist sport sandal. Yeah, just yeah, a, yeah, so, yeah. so how does it feel oh, that, already, baby? They are so comfortable. Well, I'm really surprised. Mine too. You're going to be I'm yeah. surprised. Yeah. I really love surprised. barefoot. So, and barefoot but I am is, not painting my toenails red. Sorry. Well, I think you should. <laughs> they would look better. But, um, yeah, you want to tighten this one yeah, up sure. how it should be? Yep. And so I think it's actually pretty good. The heel is, just a, you know, kind of loose. There's yeah. some slack. So just it's not quite as tight as the other one. So yeah, so it's come, it up comes up tiny. here around that. And then there you go. So that's nice. And you just and Adam, those some beautiful Adam is my didgeridoo mentor. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fun. Thank you, Adam. Yeah. Thank you guys. Be fun. All right, so you know, like this one's kind of slack, and then the heel is a little bit loose. So this comes up over the foot, around the uh, the that strap, around the heel strap. That holds the heel strap up in place, and then you just take the slack through the buckle, and then there's a little keeper strap to keep the the tail clean. Now we're going to wear these for a week or so, and then we're going to tell you what we think about them. All right, awesome. And uh, I can tell already I'm going to love mine. Mine just feels... I have never had sandals that I like because this always hurts me. Yeah, and and the, this one I like because it kind of, it doesn't like come up and jam in. It just kind of It goes over, over to the side. Do you want yeah. And it is very comfortable. I can mm -hmm. tell already. Yeah. So. So yeah, well, you'll have cool. to ask her. So just get your foot like in the right place, and and then tighten it down when it's that in that spot. In that spot, and then okay. It'll, it'll hold you in good place. They are very very comfortable. And can you tell us about the soles? Yeah. So the this one is a uh, this one's a uh, what is it four or five millimeter Vibram pyramid sole, um, and this uh, with a two millimeter Vibram. Uh, a non-slip footbed. Yeah, it's basically a non-slip footbed. So if you get wet, you know, and you're running around in the rain or whatever, you're not going to slip right off like a pair of flip-flops. Yep. Um, Perfect. The I have a trail sole, which is like kind of more got more treads on it and stuff like mm -hmm. that. And that one, um, 
I have in a few different colors. I've got tan, dark brown, black, and white. And I can get red footbeds. Um, you know, like mine are kind of red. I got a different one as well. Um, so you, and what are the straps? Oh yeah, so the straps are re, uh, retired climbing slings, actually. So nice. I, I try and, you know, we climb as a family and um, I'm always looking for climbers because they recycle or they retire their uh, climbing slings after right. three to four Do years. Do you climb? <laughs> yeah, she does yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I so, bet she does. Yeah. So, I, um, yeah, I get donated slings or try to get donated. Sometimes I pay a little for them. Um, it's but, fabulous because I've never, because my feet are so wide at the toes that it's really nice to have some that are made specifically right. for me. Yeah, exactly. Instead yep. of scrunching my toes in. Everybody's feet are shaped different. Nobody yeah. has the shape of a normal shoe, you know, that's yeah. really rare. So, yeah. Uh huh. It's yeah. great. I love them. Well, thank you. I think they're going to be Yeah, wonderful. thank you so much. They're it. great. So, <laughs> well, hold on. I'm going to get it back forward. down. <laughs> so this buckle here also can slide so if you want it down low to have these you know right next to each other you can do that mm -hmm. or if you're having trouble keeping the heel strap up you can slide this buckle up on the ankle and that'll actually keep that heel strap up better. oh wow it's okay yeah. so they're very Sorry, adjustable Mom, I yeah. stole a kiss I went yeah <laughs> I said I versatile. can't help it because she's so <laughs> Okay, Adam is making a didgeridoo right now out of a century plant flower stem. And he had it up in the air going back and forth. I was like, I gotta have pictures of that, man. Look at that. So that the debris comes out. Look at that. But these century plant deals are so amazing because they weigh almost nothing. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you call a homemade drill bit right there. That is awesome. Welding rod? What? That is a tool. Oh, I don't know. It's not a welding rod. It's just a piece of rod that I got. It's like a 72 inch by 316. I, I buy raw. Uh, yeah, I had a bunch of stainless welding that looks similar to this. Yeah. Of course, I'm not much of a welder. Adam went and harvested these, and uh, he actually gave me a couple of these. I'm very excited about getting started on it. Now he's getting me wound up. Did you see the other tool there? Oh, I've got. I'm holding it for you. Into the drones. Like we got a we got a whole country out here. You're yeah, not in the way. Like, oh, that, that's exactly where I wanted to take. That's right. That one that spot. One, yeah. That was the perfect spot <laughs> out of all of them. So is that all you do is just hollow it out? That's it. Pretty much. And then epoxy. So that it doesn't well, come apart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the inside actually too. Oh, and the inside too. Mm -hmm. oh. well, and okay. I don't know when we're leaving, but if you want some epoxy, I've got some. Like, it's basically a countertop, you know, two-part mm -hmm. mix. So before we separate, you guys can get some, you some epoxy. You're going to start playing the I don't the know, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was within a week. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you're going to make me a pair of shoes too. Oh, would you? Want you? A pair? Yeah. Okay. Um, so let's see. I may or may not be able to make them now. 
but I ordered a bunch of material that should be here soon. Okay, well, if you get it in before you leave. Yeah, it's supposed I'd to like come you in. To well, I will because I ordered it and it's shipping to that address that you gave me. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I ordered. Well, we're going in on Tuesday because either Tuesday or Wednesday to pick up. We've got packages coming in. Okay. So if you want us to, you can write in with us or okay. you can tell us to pick it up or whatever. All right. Awesome. For our buddies and they're leaving today, but we're so glad we've got to spend some time with them. We're leaving, but I'm sure we'll cross paths again. Hi. Oh. Well, thank you. You know why I bought those at Home Depot? Because they're oh, wow. outdoor furniture. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. They will stay stay better, maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Love you so much. We're you have beautiful children, and we'll miss you. It's been great. We'll see. Okay. This is Adam playing my finished didgeridoo. Almost finished. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.